Look up rivalry in the dictionary, and you might as well see a picture of these two SEC schools. Today's winner will have bragging rights for a long time, folks. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Here's an opening. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. He's got it with room to run. Tackle at the 40. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Up the middle for a nice game. And a six-yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Mitchell on the handoff. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. Well, it's a first down here, and I love to see the wide receiver get a chance to get his hands on the football. You know, the offensive coordinator told us earlier this week they're going to do everything they can to get this receiver involved in the game plan, whether it means catching a ball or at times running the football. And there, he shows what he can do with the football in his hands. Caught, enough for the first down. And he's taken down around the five yard line. This guy is so versatile. You can use him at the line as an extra blocker or send him downfield like another wide receiver. Either way, he's a great resource on every down. It's first and goal with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. And down he goes around the two-yard line. to the end zone and he's got the halfback touchdown nice little catch there by the running back for the score i think the defense was looking for a running play there that's a nice job by the offense mixing things up and he adds the extra point so a seven-play, 76-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers, in talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time, where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 23. He's got it out to his tight end. He's taken down around the 27-yard line. Excellent job here by the defense to sniff that one out before it turned into a first down.
Jackson will be the return man. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Georgia is up a score. Nice run up the middle. They'll bring him down at about the 45. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 45. And they hit him in the backfield. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick throw. punt goes over the goal line and this will be a touchback the Bulldogs really took care of business on defense that first time out Kirby one of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment we're seeing that again today brought down after a nice run up the middle From their own 25-yard line, second down. Throws. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. down at the 37. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. Steps out of bounds at the 41-yard line. He's scrambling. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. Quick thinking here by the quarterback to not only avoid the pressure, but also avoid throwing the ball into coverage. To top it off, he reached the marker. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 47. Got it complete, and he's out of bounds. He tackles him for a loss. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. 
They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From the 25-yard line, first down. On the counter, wrestled down behind the line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Now he's flushed and they got him. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. Tosses across the middle to his tight end. And they make the stop right around the eight-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Pressured and brought down. Outstanding job there by the linebacker to find his way through on the blitz. Play 13 of the current drive. The 10. They can't bring him down, and he's in. Well-designed play to get the half back into the end zone. Hey, for this guy, it doesn't matter how it's drawn up. He can make his own play as he goes along. That was a nice run. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. A 13-play, 81-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. level at the 27. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 27. Roger, Roger. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He throws right. And that's his receiver who's wide open. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 46. It takes an incredible amount of accuracy to throw the ball that high and that far. Just a beautiful pass. From the 46-yard line, first down. Fires out to his wideout, and he's tackled at the 41. They come out in an empty backfield. Nice run, and he's brought down. So at the end of one quarter, we get a tie game at 7-7. We're all tied up as we head into quarter number two. Roger, Roger! Mike 40, Mike 40! Let's go, D. Ready! Hot, great hot. And they get nice yardage on that run. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. Mike 40, Mike 40! They come out in a five-wide set. Ready! Green 19! 
He's on the run. And they got him. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Georgia is looking to go up by three. The kick is away. It's long enough. No good. He hooked it left. Every time you have a chance to finish a drive with points, you've got to capitalize. That time, they couldn't come through. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. And he's stopped behind the line. Well, I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series make sure everybody's on the same page and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line from their own 34 yard line it's third down throws in a hurry and he can't make the catch Chapman to punt. Jackson fields it at the 24. Brought down at the 33. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Heading for the corner. He makes it to the 35-yard line. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Had his hands on it and dropped it. an open field tackle. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. He gets hit out of bounds around the 45-yard line. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. Not that impressive of a play. Let's see if they continue to employ the short passing game or if they decide to run the ball. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 34. at the 23-yard line. Ready. Green on the side. Fires it quickly. And it's intercepted. This safety always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here. First and ten. Ball on their own 20. Here's the 
there's a draw. Nice run to the left there. The Bulldogs had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Quick toss. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. And down he goes at the 49-yard line. And he's taken down at the 45. From the 45-yard line. First down. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 40. Gets to about the 37-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Another run. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. That was nose-to-nose -nose football right there. And the defense this time wins the battle. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He's taken down at about the 23-yard line. It's second and seven. Ball on the 23-yard line. Four down, four down. Mike 40, Mike 40. Ready. Cut, wide 80. Wide. They'll bring him down at the 20. Did you see how quickly he was able to get into the backfield and make that tackle? Not many guys that big can move that fast. Under heavy pressure. Ball is loose. Fun ball. It's picked up by the offense. And he has it on the corner. And they push him out around the 17-yard line. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. Scott is back deep to return. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. From the 31-yard line, first down. He's going left. Makes the grab and steps out right away.
So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. Second and 10. Ball on the 31. The junior makes the catch. Brought down at about the 21. the 21-yard line. So they're going to review this and try to determine exactly where the ball should be spotted down. I didn't see anything in particular that would make the coach want to challenge this, but he must have seen something to want to review this one. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. From the 20-yard line, it's first down. Room around the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. He's into the open field. He gets out to about the eight. Auburn will take their second time out of the half. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. The Tigers running back. He was injured early. You see him down there on the sideline, and it looks like he's ready to get back in the game. He gets out to about the six-yard line. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And they make the stop at the one-yard line. Easy, easy. Kill, 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 kill. Check 15. Check 15. He scrambled. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. So it's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Auburn could take the lead with this field goal. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. This return should be the last play of the half. He'll need to break it all the way to give his team the lead. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Well, we're headed to halftime now, and we're seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. Auburn in front, 10-7. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. A look at the first half stats would tell you that neither ground game was very effective. Less than three yards per rush. Both teams though continued to try to run it. When you're not having success, how important is it to still maintain that physical nature, keep trying to run the football? I think every team's different, but when you got teams that have balance, I think those are the teams that you see the most. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Auburn holds a field goal lead. Here we go, The ball pops free, picks up the fumble, and he's tackled around the 44-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 44-yard line. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Couple of yards at most on that pass. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. Runs outside for a nice game. They're about four yards away here on third down. And he's tackled right away. Slings it. Quickly incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Auburn is up a field goal. That's a great tackle at the 38. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is we still have such a close game despite how well they play. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he just gets rid of it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Pitch out, got the corner. Brought down in the open field. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Oh, 
catches it, and that's all. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 46. Three down, three down. Check number six. Check number six. Ready. And he's leveled the 39-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Three down, three down. Check back 40, check back 40. They bring him down. And that's the defensive end who was able to get him that time. It's pretty awesome when a freshman can work his way through the offensive line to get a sack like that. Thorson is the putter. And he's taken down at the 43. They coughed up the pigskin the last time they had the ball. Let's see if they can hold on to it this time. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled at the 48. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Auburn has a three-point lead. With a quick throw. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. out quickly to the tailback and he is drilled at the 23. It's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Makes the grab and he's got the first. Tackle right around the 20. So they'll move the chains with that catch by the tight end. Since he only needed a few yards, the little dump off pass worked to perfection. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. It's second and ten. Ball on the 20. He fights forward to about the 19. around the 15-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Auburn's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. From their own 37 yard line. First down. Good open field tackle. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. 
in the shotgun and five wideouts. Throws it out there. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. From the 24-yard line, first down. Go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. They'll bring him down at the 20. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Passes, and it's almost picked off. Kicks up, and he got it. Georgia ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Last drive resulted in a field goal, and the offense will come back out looking to do one better. Auburn is up by three. He throws right, and that's his receiver who's wide open. To the 20, and he's taken down at the 16-yard line. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Well, that was just a well-executed play. They picked a perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Larry, Larry. Mike, two. Mike, two. Hey, hey, hey. Alert cat, alert cat. Motion, motion, motion. Dude, that's it. Oh, that's it. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Drop back a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Third down, six to go. Ball on the 13. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. That's three down and one to go. The Tigers with a three-point lead. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Auburn holds a field goal lead. It's up, and he's got it. Carlson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight football game, and the game could hinge on this possession. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. 
He's taken down around the 37-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. Up the middle for a nice game. From their own 41 yard line. Second down. Tries to pitch it, and now the ball is loose. The defense has it. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Taken down in the backfield. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 40. Auburn up six. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. And they make the stop at the 28-yard line. down around the 30-yard line. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. at the 23-yard line. So it's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The last time the offense had it, they lost a fumble. So I'm pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. He zips it. First and ten, ball on the 44-yard line. Here we go, green 19. Fires it out. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. They give to the tailback. Nice run to the outside. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Fires right side, got his tailback. Tackle at the 30-yard line. From the 30-yard line, it's first down. Hey, we 
He fights forward to about the 29. He makes it to the 28-yard line. And here's another third down. They come out in an empty backfield. Ready. Bring that up. They'll drop him for a loss. These two coordinators are going back and forth between the offense and the defense. And that time, the defensive coordinator, I think, had a good idea of what was coming, put his players in position to make a play, and give those players a lot of credit. They played that third down with a lot of energy and really an aggressive attitude to be able to stop that play. Sacked, and they'll turn it over. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. The defense was able to keep them out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. And he carries the ball for a nice game. It's second down, six to go. Ball on their own 39. Just under three to go in regulation. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Man left, man left. Going down, going down. Tins the mic. Tins the mic. Damn. Red nine. No. The play clock's at double zero. They just took too long. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. From their own 35-yard line, it's third down. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. For Auburn, they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. Good pass rush by these guys today. And if the defense holds strong here, they'll be that much closer to sealing this upset win. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. He's going to go for the home run. Intercepted. Oh, and that is one dejected quarterback. That interception is going to seal this game. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 35. Just under two to go in the game. They'll give it off here. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. The Bulldogs will use their first time out of the half. Two down, two down. Light two, light two. And down he goes, right around the 42-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. And the ball carrier wasn't getting away from that tackle. after a decent pickup. The defense can't be surprised that they're running the football, but for whatever reason, they're not stepping up when they need to to be able to come up with a stop. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Second down and nine to go. 
Ball on the 49. Mike two, Mike two. Down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 19 to 10, Auburn. Let's get Kirk Herbstreet's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Auburn came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.